everyone! Today I am gonna show you where to find all of the Emperor's treasures in the Nathema Conspiracy Flashpoint. You can do this both as a story, but you can also do it as a veteran mode flashpoint. However, it will only be the one who is leading it in the veteran mode who will actually get the prize. So I recommend to do it just solo. We will find all of the locations that will end up with you being able to choose which decoration you want. Let's do it! The very first treasure is in the long track towards the tombs. When you are approximately midway here, there will be a small camp of where the zealots reside. You will already have four, a pack of them, and then you just go up and pick up the treasure of Valkorion. One out of seven. A little side info, when you come from this area and you go around here, there's like a small little nook in where there's another camp and there is actually a data pad which is a codex entry. It's just a little side note in case you would like to pick it up. Next treasure you will find in this little path here. So just before you get to the next part of the plateau, you will find there's this funny little path. So you can either go underground as I have to get to here, or you can go overground where you find all the zealots. If you go underground, you will find two experimental acclays down here that you can find, and then you will also find the second treasure. Once you are in the Verdant Valley Skyway, you will basically take the path all the way through, all the way through the tomb and so on, until you get to this elevator that leads to the next area. But before you go to this elevator, you will go up to this platform, which looks like a landing platform where we're at now. First of all, there will be a small codex for you here, just a little extra one to pick up. And then if you walk in through all of these crates, there's another hidden treasure. Right after you've taken that elevator, you land down here in the Verdant Valley. This is the elevator where you come out, and just here to your right in the curve, there's some stairs up. So we're just gonna run up here, and then we're gonna try once we get to the top here to shimmy over this tree log, and you'll get the next treasure. As you track on through the Verdant Valley, you will get to this little alcove here before you get into the big arena area. This is where you will find two champions that you can choose to attack, kill. You might get a decoration out of it. But you can see our treasure is right over there. You can choose to kill them or you can simply just shimmy this way around along with the water and get to the treasure this way. Easy peasy. Once you get to this arena, as you can see it's the final part of the Verdant Valley, you get to the arena. Before we walk in here, you will follow the path along to the left. Well, actually there's no path. I choose to shimmy all the way around because I have sometimes experienced that the cutscene might start. Which means that you might miss out on this treasure before you get in and get beaten in the face by the big guardian. At 6 out of 7. The final one will be in the ancient temple. When you follow the path in here and you just follow it all around the curve here, you will get to the part before you go into the next area and there will be one final chest where you have to balance on a beam. Just run straight, it's not too difficult to get, I promise. Unless you get stuck like I just did. <laughs> Bonus achieved, you now get Seeker of Fortune, and you can choose which one you want. Do you want Valkorion's Ghost? Or do you want Dramas? That is the choice. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, maybe add a comment. And if you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon for just $1 a month. It helps me and my content a whole lot. 
Bye. Bye.